Greetings and welcome back. This is the official kickoff video for my 60 minute map tournament and I'm going to cover three things in this video. The first thing are some questions and answers from the announcement video. Then I'm going to give you your three theme words for the first map, the adventure map. And then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to be scoring the first round. Before I do that, I want to give a very special shout out and thank you to musical composer Green Greeny. All of the music that I've been using in my 60 minute challenge videos has been from Green Greeny. You can find his SoundCloud link in the description. He's also known for creating the music that has been used in CDF demand maps, such as the latest Lift 9. Thanks a lot, Green. So I want to thank everybody for their interest in this challenge. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, for the map makers. Uh, reminder, you don't have to put out a perfect map. That's kind of part of the challenge, is learning what you can do in 60 minutes and how you might do it differently next time. Uh, I want to answer a couple of the general questions that I got on the announcement video. So first and foremost, it is okay to create a map in a team or solo, doesn't matter. Uh, if you create one in a team, I will rate that one separately from if you submit a solo one. So in that regard, you can submit uh, more than one entry per week. And if there are enough teams, I may end up doing a bracket just for the teams separate from solos, but we'll see how many entries we get. Uh, also, as far as multiple entries per week, it's fine if you want to make multiple maps. I highly encourage it. Uh, but what I will do is I will just pick one of them that I feel is the strongest and use that one as your uh, map for the week. And the others I might save for um, just LPs outside of this tournament. Also, uh, external tools are fine. I did mention that in the announcement video. So if you want to use MC Edit, if you want to use uh, some some other tools, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's you know, really honor system that you do it within the 60 minute window. Um, the fun that, that I have seen is for people actually building it in the world, um, but I don't see any reason to enforce that constraint. Now, some people asked, how do I know if it was really done in 60 minutes or less? I don't have a lot of options in this regard. It's mostly honor system. However, uh, I will take a look at your level.dat file and all of the other files that are in your save folder. And I will look at the creation date and timestamp and the last update date and timestamp. Um, and I want to I wanna make sure they're you know reasonably close to an hour. Obviously, you may do something in the world before you start the clock and a little bit afterwards. So I'm not going to count anybody out, but if I see something that's like you know, over multiple days, that, that may throw up a red flag, and I may ask you about that. Um, that said, uh, I want to cover one more thing that wasn't asked in questions, but maybe uh, somebody might be thinking of it. If you are building a lobby uh, that you where the player spawns before they start your actual map, um, if you want to know what I mean by this, you can watch any of, the ep of my 60-minute episodes that feature Covolta, uh, he has a lobby world where he creates all his 60-minute maps in the same world. The lobby part of that world doesn't need to be within the 60 minutes. I don't count that as part of the map. Uh, I want to see the actual map itself done in 60 minutes. But if you, if you create sort of a landing pad for when people just log in, that's fine as long as it's not part of the main story or puzzle, etc. So I think those are the main questions that I got, and I'm really hoping uh, that a lot of you enter. Without further ado, let us go and see what your theme words are for this first week. All right, it is now time to announce the theme words for week one of this competition. Reminder, once you hear these theme words, you have until August 7th to create a map. You have to create that map in 60 minutes or less, and you have to incorporate the theme words. Now, the theme words for week one, there will be three theme words chosen randomly from these words in these dispensers. There will be one word from each. These three dispensers are full of words 
that were chosen randomly from things I know about myself, Unlikely Waffle, Rackabilly, and CDF Demand. When I press this button, I will be given three random words. Here we go. Push the limits, pizza, and clue. Wow, I did not expect those three words to come out. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of background. Clue was one of the first custom maps for Minecraft I created. Pizza, well, doesn't everybody love it? And push the limits. This came from one of the YouTube about pages of CDF Demand, Wreckabilly, or Unlikely Waffle. I will let you go to their YouTube pages, check their about. You can figure out who that phrase came from. All right, so the theme words are push the limits, pizza, and clue. Remember, all three of these phrases have to be somehow included in the theme of your adventure map, published and left as a comment in this video by August 7th for the judging. Come back on Monday, August 10th to see who is the winner of week one's 60-minute tournament. Also come back on Friday, August 7th to find out the theme words for week two, which will be a puzzle or mini game. All right, so hopefully you are percolating ideas in your mind. Please feel free to use those theme words and come up with your design. And then when you're ready to start building, start the clock and keep it within 60 minutes. And hopefully, uh, and if you have any testing that you need to do, if you've broken anything and you need any fixes, that also has to be done within the 60 minutes. Now, let's talk very quickly about how I'm going to rate these entries. Um, I am going to use my standard rating scale. So if you don't know, I have actually rated over 825 maps from the Minecraft community. 800 of those ratings are posted on my Minecraft forums thread. I use a standard system, uh, which is a 20 point scale to rate maps. Now that 20 point scale doesn't quite fit into a 60 minute map. Uh, so I am going to use the same rating categories, which I'll go over in a second, but I'm gonna use a different numbering system behind the scenes. And I will kind of explain more about that when I actually judge. But what you need to know is I am looking for the overall experience of your map. So I want to know if it has a unique theme, how enjoyable it was overall, if the experience of playing the map complements the genre and those three theme words that I give you have to be somehow merged in in a clever way. The second category is the overall gameplay mechanics. So did you do anything to uh, you know, make it variable, make it interesting for the player. How many different types of mechanics did you use? Is it just a straightforward follow the signs and read a story? Or did you have uh, a mix of things like uh, jumping puzzles and other things mixed in? Or uh, did you add any scoring systems? Did you add anything unique to the map itself? Of course, I'm going to be looking at the visual build and uh, I'm going to be taking this category with a huge grain of salt because it is really tough to build something very beautiful in 60 minutes and still make it functional. So visual build is an element, uh, but it's not going to count quite as much as the other two categories. Visual and audio effects are also nice, but I don't really expect there to be more than one or two effects in a 60 minute map. So particles, things like that will obviously be nice additions but not be weighted as highly as experience and mechanics. From a challenge perspective, uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot of incremental challenge. 60 minutes, again, the scope is just too small. So I generally will look at this in terms of, is it way too hard uh, or does it fit your theme? And last but not least, I will look at the pacing uh, again with 60 minutes. There's not a lot of pacing that can be done. So I feel like this category will have pretty much minimal bearing on your overall ranking. Uh, however, if I find maps that are just really well paced, uh, for example, the map uh, that I recently played called Evolve uh, took me several hours to play and I felt the pacing was very good. 
It may give you a little bit of an edge, but for the most part, pacing is a low weighted score. So your focus should really be on that overall experience. You know, use some somewhat visual build as much as you need to get across what you want the player to experience. But I really think you should focus, in my opinion, on the gameplay itself, any mechanics or just the overall flow of what you want them to experience. Uh, it's very important that there's a clear start and typically I would like to see some type of a clear endpoint so that I can tell where the map starts and ends. Uh, and that's about all the tips I'm going to give you this round. Now remember, you can submit entries to me up to Friday, August 7th at about midnight on Friday, August 7th Central Standard Time. I will take all of the links that you guys put in the comments below to your maps and that will be the list of who uh, is in the first round if you miss posting something in the link in the comments below by friday uh, then unfortunately i can't uh, can't count that map in week one but hang on to it there may be a chance for you to submit it later in this tournament under a different category so good luck to everybody thank you so much for your interest i think this is a fun challenge it only takes about 60 minutes of your time thank you for spreading the word and letting your friends and fellow map makers know about this if there's a map maker out there that you would like to challenge if you would like to see what they can do in only 60 minutes please feel free to share this video with them put your challenge out there uh, this week is adventure We've got puzzle and we've got other things to come in the following weeks. So a little something for everybody. And I can't wait to see the first entries. Good luck.